Buccaneers, we'll be checking out three caverns in Texas, and the first one is Cave Without a Name in Bernie. This is a limestone solution cave located 40 miles from downtown San Antonio. Upon arrival, we visited the gift shop, which sells many pretty minerals. You can also purchase geodes and pan for gems. First, we're going to hike this trail to see some sinkholes. Sinkholes are formed when the underground limestone is eroded by water, causing land surface to collapse. Be careful, don't fall in, brother. Today, Jessie will be our tour guide, and she is showing us the original entrance to the cave. Why is it called Cave Without a Name? Well, they, uh, they ran a contest to help name the cave and a, a little nine-year-old boy submitted the name Cave Without a Name, but he attached a meaning behind it. He said he felt it was too beautiful to have a name. Let's take a quick look at the cave rules before we start. Luckily, I brought my flashlight and my phone, so if this runs out of battery, then I'll use this. Well, if I haven't already introduced myself to you folks, my name's Jesse. I'm going to be your tour guide for the next hour. It's kind of my job to make sure we get in and out of this cave safely, but we're going to have some fun doing so. We're descending 126 steps to approximately 80 feet below the surface, where nature maintains a temperature of 66 degrees year-round. Up there was the original entrance to the cave. We are about halfway to our cave system. So right. that means we're about 40 feet underground right now. This one hour tour will take us through six beautiful formation rooms. Now you're going to notice back over here behind me, we don't have as much of that discoloration. And part of the reason for that is where you two boys are currently standing, there's actually a ledge right there. We think that's, whoop, Ooh. are you okay? Good thing brother didn't fall off the ledge. The cave is filled with spectacular formations of stalactites, stalagmites, and more. This hole is where the children who discovered the cave crawled through. Stalactites are easy to remember because they hang tight from the ceiling, and if water drips from it and lands on your head, it's called a cave kiss, which brings seven years of good luck. So far, I've gotten two cave kisses, which means 14 years of fortune. Select mites grow up from the ground, and they might one day reach the ceiling. And it looks like this one's almost there. How many more hundred years is that? Well, we estimate probably uh, anywhere between a 50 and like 150 years. This formation looks like a fried egg, and it took about 80 years for it to form. It's water from these stalactites and soda stress right here. <coughs> and if I stand here long enough, I might get a cave kiss. The ceiling here is called cave popcorn, and that up there looks like an ice cream cone. Are those grapes? Jessie is pointing out a little bat where the shadow of her fingers are. And now we're entering the most spectacular of the rooms. The formations here are amazing. These here are called cave bacons because they look like bacon. That's the biggest stalagmite I've ever seen. The next piece is named Modern Art. This formation looks like Jaws. You can listen to concerts in the Queen's throne room. In Texas, it's a third degree felony to touch or break anything in a cave system, but these are okay for you to handle. Now Jessie is going to turn off the lights to show us how dark it gets down here. We are climbing eight stories to get back to the exit, and along the way I spotted a bat. I left this one on, except they did not open this gate. <sighs> we had so much fun at Cave Without a Name. Now we're touring our second cavern, Wonderworld Cave and Adventure Park in San Marcos. Founded in 1903, this is known as the first show cave in Texas. First, we're going to ride the train. All of 
The train is taking us to the petting park, but we have to go through this tunnel to get there. At this attraction, we get the opportunity to feed, pet, and interact with many wildlife inhabitants. Deer feed could be purchased at the train station prior to departure. That's ticklish. Uh-oh, here comes an emu. The emus are aggressive and would snatch the food bag away from your hand. Yikes, the emus have surrounded us. It's time to go, but this antelope doesn't want us to leave. Now we're going inside the cave. Our guide today is Mr. Steven. He is leading us to the Balcones Fault Line Cave, the only real earthquake cave open to viewing. But what we have is what we have. It was formed not by moving water over a large period of time. It was formed by an earthquake somewhere between 15 and 35 million years ago. In fact, if you guys look up at the ceiling, you're going to see a big divide, a big crack. As your first look at our first visual evidence of the Balcones Fault Line, which runs from the top of Texas down through central Texas. Steven is pointing out some life in the cave. In this room, we can see evidence of the fault line above us. The cave is made of granite and can be scratched off easily. Now Stephen is turning off the lights. We can see some rocks that glow in the dark. Wonder Cave was discovered in 1893 by Mark A. Bevers, a former cowboy and freight hauler. W.S. Davis took over the Bevers Cave in 1903 and began operating it as a tourist attraction. This well looks very deep. Brother is making a wish. Mr. Steven is pointing out fossilized prehistoric life encased in the many strata formations. Wait, where's the clam? It's these guys. Can you mind? Oh. 65 million years ago Wait, is when they were wriggling this around. Thing? Yeah, right there. That looks like a worm. It does. They Brother and I are crawling through this small passageway. We found something unexpected. There's an orange Mexican carrot over <laughs> We are exiting the Wonder World Cave by riding the Stradivator, traveling 190 feet upward into the observation tower. You can go up to the very top where the flagpole is. over a hundred feet above ground and this is the view that we have. And no. But it's, it's like the Eiffel Tower. Lastly, we end our tour in the anti-gravity house. We're gonna put the ball down here and it's gonna roll upwards. Brother is making the water run uphill. My favorite part was that this cave is different from all the others that we visited before because it's a dry cave and it was formed by an earthquake and not by water dripping down. My favorite part was feeding the emu. It's like a video game. And the third and final cave is Natural Bridge Caverns. Discovered in San Antonio in 1960, this is one of the most treasured natural attractions Texas has to offer. It doesn't have a flashlight. Today we are going on the Discovery Tour, the first half mile of the cave, which is the most spectacular part of the caverns. I'm taking many photos of the beautiful cave formations. This was the original entrance to the cave.
Down there, you can see bubbles coming out of the water. These formations are majestic. We're now entering the biggest room of the cave. I'm getting a bunch of cave cases. Over here is the heart of the cavern. Uh-oh, I'm falling behind. Better catch up to the group. We're taking one last glimpse of the cavern. Next, we're taking on the canopy challenge. Now we're going on the twisted trails. We're going to navigate this 60 foot high aerial adventure ropes course. There are over 50 elements suspended high above the ground. This course has four levels that will test our balance. Now we're going to ride multiple zip rails down. I'm flying! I'm really flying! We're going to try leaning back as we glide down. Now we're going to do amazing match roundup. We're picking up our game cards. Let the time begin. We're going to find our way out of this 5,000 square foot outdoor maze while searching for nine stamps along the way. Up here you can get a bird's eye view of the maze. We got all the stamps, so we're making our way to the exit. We punched out on the finished clock and turned in our game card. We had so much fun at Natural Bridge Caverns. I really enjoyed how beautiful the cave formations were. My favorite part was zip line. The three caverns that we visited in Texas were all unique in their own ways, from cave formations to fun activities. Therefore, we recommend that you visit all three caverns when you visit Texas.